Right guys, not gonna lie, it seems like we always hear reports regarding Apple's mixed reality headset launching very, very soon, and then the year goes by and we see nothing. But Mark Kerman believes 2022 could be the year we finally see this product launch, and so let's delve into the details he tells us. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so in the words of Mark Gurman, he says, Apple is planning to unleash its own pricey device with advanced chips, displays, sensors as early as next year. So yeah, this is clearly referring to the mixed reality headset Mark Gurman and other sources have told us about in the past. Now, the first thing to note with the statement is of course Gurman saying it's a pricey device. And this does corroborate with other reports suggesting a $3,000 starting price. So yeah, this is going to be a very high-end device that's going to be insanely expensive. As for the advanced chips, I could see Apple giving us multiple M1 Max chips in this device to power all these VR slash AR capabilities, since we all know the M1 Pro and the M1 Max chip are absolutely insane. Now as for the displays, we know this is going to have two 8K displays on the front. Now that's probably why it's so expensive, because other devices on the market use a 2K display, which of course is a lot cheaper to make. But of course, Apple being Apple, they want to offer the best experience possible. So 8K panels on this is really going to be something quite amazing. Now as for the sensors, I believe we heard from a previous report that we could see 12 cameras on this device. That again is going to give you the best AR slash VR experience. As for avatar based features, Yes, I know some of you might instantly think about an emojis, but this actually might be related to the gaming aspect with this new headset. So Mark Gurman says that gaming could be the main focus of this headset. Apple is aiming for a mixed reality experience that can handle games in high quality VR with snappy chips and high end displays. And this does make a ton of sense because in the consumer sector of these mixed reality headsets, gaming's really the big focus and Apple wants to be at the forefront of that tech with their new headset. And I can understand why because the gaming industry industry kind of neglected the Mac, and of course since gaming is a massive market now, Apple does not want their mixed reality headset being neglected as well, so I can see why their focus is on gaming with this device. Now the final thing German says is that years down the road, you'll see a true AR only headset. Now this is probably referring to the Apple Glass we've been hearing for years now. This should be the replacement to the iPhone, the mass consumer headset that should not only be for gaming but for pretty much everything else. See, I'm pretty hyped about that product, and if I was guessing, I think we'll see that around 2025. And it does make a ton of sense, they're not rushing into making that because that's going to be a consumer device around $500, and so I think Apple should iron out the bugs and the early issues with this format, with their super expensive headset they're releasing next year, and then of course, that enables the 2025 Apple Glass to have the best experience possible from the get-go, which of course is going to make the user experience and the adoption of AR glasses much better. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about the future of AR and VR. This is going to be a pretty exciting period in tech. But tell me in the comments below, guys, are you excited for these mixed reality headsets? Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the iPad Pro M2 and on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.